Greetings, and welcome to Tobias Talks About Stuff. I'm Tobias, and today we're going to talk about the very popular VR game, Gun Raiders. Greetings! Today we're going to learn about flying. I know most players already know how to fly. This is for those that are having a rough time of it. Okay, now for flying, there's only a couple things to keep track of. One is your movement forward, backward, side to side. Now that's the left controller. The right controller, you can turn left, turn right, jetpack up. That's by pushing your le right joystick forward. Push it forward, you get your jetpack. You pull it back, you get a dash. Dash is used occasionally if you need that extra burst of energy. It moves you faster in the direction you're already traveling or if you're not traveling the direction you're facing. So that's the main components for flying. The only other thing you have to keep track of is what's referred to as a T-pose. Your arms are out to your side like this. That tells the game that I want to fly. That's it, That's those, those are the components right there. Let's go upstairs and uh, go over a few of them. In front of my face here, the heads up display, yellow is your fuel. Keep track of that because when it hits empty, you fall. But it replenishes itself real fast. So as I do stuff, watch it go up and down. Again, movement. Just move forward, hit your jetpack. That's going to take you up in the air. Release your jetpack, release your movement. That's it. Yeah, that, that's flying. Now, to give you an idea of how your T-pose works, see if I, my hands are straight in front of me and I walk off, well, boom, down I go. The game didn't realize I wanted to fly. I didn't tell it. So, T-pose out, fly up, turn around, down. Now, see that landing space? My arms in a T-pose, walking forward with no jetpack, just walking, walking. See, I'm gliding. That's it. No fuel used other than the small amount that's used for gliding. Anytime you are in the air, for the most part, you're using your fuel. So keep track of that. Now, there's a little bit of a lip there for me to get up to, which again, not an issue. Walk towards it. Okay. Jet pack up. Glide. Okay. Now, I'm just bursting. Burst. 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 Turn. Again, the same thing you can do on the ground, moving forward, backward, side to side, rotate left and right. You can do that in the air. So I'm gonna fly up, move forward, and then we'll see. See, up. Now I'm gonna move forward, release the jetpack. So now I'm gliding, rotate, jetpack again, flying backwards, and it's out of fuel, and then down I come. Okay, since there's no real fall damage in this game, provided you land on a safe surface, uh, lava, uh, sharp logs, uh, there's things that you can actually die by landing in them or on them, but anywhere you can walk safely, you can land safely. So, the other thing is, there's a wall there. Let's say I ran out of fuel when I'm right next to the wall, grab it. Okay, not a problem. I'm in there. I'm grabbing it. I could climb if I wanted to, peek over the edge, or let go, use my jetpack, and I'm up and over. That's it. There's really nothing more to fly than what I've just done. Now, there's a couple of advanced techniques uh, where you're using really only one hand for the T-pose, and the reason for that is you're using a, well, rifle in my case. So, I'm going to fly off, T-pose, Jetpack, jetpack, back up, target, fly backwards. Okay, turn around, and then land. Okay, now, if you're not moving in the air, you're just going up, 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 or now you're falling. When your arms are off to your side in the T-pose, you're gliding, but you're gliding down. 
So you could fly out. Stop. And just glide down. Now you're still using fuel. Oh, and there, boom, I'm down. Let's go over to the other side here so I can show a few advanced techniques as far as flying goes. The more advanced players will probably already know these maneuvers, but I'm gonna show you how they're done. Okay, here we're on the top of the tower on the combat side. Okay. Again, if I wanna go down to that building down there, I could very easily glide all the way down. Look how much fuel I'm using up just by gliding. Jetpack is not being used. That's just glide. I used a third of it just for gliding purposes. So you got to be careful whenever you're in the air. Now, I want to get back up to the top. That might be a little tough, but I might be able to make it if I'm careful with my fuel. So, gliding. Puff of energy there. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now just straight up and then move in. Okay. Because I was careful with my movements, gliding most of the time, I was able to conserve the energy to get here. Now, one of the advanced maneuvers is doing multiple things at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward. I'm going to fall. I'm not going to be in the T position. I'm going to rotate around, put on the air brakes, as I like to call them, basically go into the T-pose. That means you're gliding softly downwards and then fly forward. Fall, rotate, T-pose, fly forward, and then just a little bit of jetpack. There we go. Pretty simple. Now, another maneuver. Life in the hand. I'm running. I come off, fly, 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 spin around, back up, and here I am again. You want to catch people off guard? That's one of the ways to do it. The other maneuver is flying through windows. Okay, we got an opening on this side and on the far side, if you can see it. I'm going to fly through that, pretending there's somebody chasing me. Okay, so here we go. Got my rifle ready. Gliding. Jetpack. Fly. Fly. Turn around. Change over. And move forward. Just that simple. Now, if I want to be sneaky about it, I would come down, fall, grab the wall, and I would climb up. Whoa. Pop up. Okay. Catch them off guard. Now, another way to catch people off guard, let's see these two boxes here, these two sacks, are two players. They're facing that direction over there. They don't know that you're in game. They don't know where you are. Here's the maneuver. You come along, you fly, you fly up, you turn, you go to the wall, grab it. Peek up, get your weapon ready, jet pack, up, and move backwards. Oh, they're after you, so now you fall, and then you just spin around the corner to get away from them. That's it. Those are pretty much some of the basic and advanced techniques. There's not much more, uh, well, individual abilities, individual style. You decide how you like it. Figure out what makes flying fun for you. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. See everybody later. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot a couple things. Uh, one, when I was over there and I was running with a knife in my hand, that was strictly because I was on the ground. The knife doesn't really help you with flying at all. Uh, as far as the speed, uh, I did a video with uh, running with knives. Now, so if you're flying and it's just a kind of a burst of jetpack, just like burst, 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 you're flying along, well, that gives you an effective speed of 17. And the other thing I almost forgot to mention, hit the flat button on your left controller, the menu button, 
pops up the menu here. Go to settings, gameplay. Right here you see glide arm distance. It goes from 0.5 to two. Okay, I like mine at 0.8. Reason for that is that happens to be the same distance as the chair I sit in. The bigger the number, the farther your arms need to be apart. Find out what number works for you. Uh, yeah, I think I've covered it all. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, do the whole thing, the subscribe, like, uh, share it with a friend, especially those that are having a tough time flying. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Yeah, I think I got it all this time. Great. See you guys later. Bye.